Hey guys and welcome to Life is Feudal. This episode is basically going to be a little tips and tricks video on how to rapidly raise your skills. So basically we're going to go down the uh, we're going to go down the skill list and I'm going to give you tips, tricks, things that I've found that kind of help for raising each of the skills. All right, so the uh, the first skill on the list is prospecting. So obviously with prospecting it leads on to mining, smelting, forging and armor smithing. So what you want to do is you need to you'll need to find ore anyway. So the best way to the best way to make up your prospecting skill is to right click, hit prospecting, and actually prospect for the thing that you're trying to find. Like just pinpoint the thing as you would do, you can probably learn exactly how to pinpoint. If you don't know how to prospect properly, then give me a little shout in the comment section and I'll let you know. The uh, the next skill is mining. Couldn't be simpler. You Once you've prospected, you will mine your way through towards the, uh, towards the ore eventually which will uh, help you spam up your terraforming skill which is one of the fastest ways to get your terraforming skill up and once you've found your ore, your ores will look like this there's copper ore and I'll show you iron ore in just a second there you are, you've got iron ore here so iron ore is pretty hard to see because of the uh, the texture difference, it's not like a an outstanding colour change whereas the uh, with a copper ore, it's pretty, pretty coppery, pretty golden. Although, one thing that I always hate about games like this, copper should be green in rocks. Oxidizes. Jeez. Okay, so the next skill will be smelting. When you're smelting, if you don't know how to do it, go check a guide for how to smelt. Um, it's pretty simple. You get, the, uh, you get the heat of the furnace up to as high as it can possibly go. And we'll go to our forging anvil for it and I'll show you. Uh, you light it, use the bellows to get it up to 1500 and then a progress bar will appear here. Once the progress bar fills, they, then you can melt. What you want to do is you want to melt it down into lumps. Lumps gets you the most bang for your buck, basically. That will get you the most experience, the most levels to the amount of ore that you're actually using. Then once you've smelted that into lumps, you uh, come to your forge and you want to make nails Nails cost one lump and you get ten, and once again, it's the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to forging stuff down. The next thing you want to do is armor smithing. So while you're armor smithing, what you want to make is light chainmail helm or light chainmail gauntlets because they both use one bar, and that is like is either one bar or two bar. I think it's one bar. And that's the cheapest armour that you can make, so you want to spam making those. And once again, most bang for your buck and creating them so that you get more experience points. So that's done for the prospecting line. The next line is your forestry line. So for forestry, what you want to do is you want to go up to a tree. I'll, uh, I'll show you exactly what you want to do. If you get on a forest like this, it's so easy. What you want to do is you want to find one of these big ass trees like we've cut down here or this one here. You want to right click it and go to snap a branch and right click snap a branch so it's your default. And then what you want to do is you just want to spam E. You press E and he'll start doing it. I've actually created a small script that does this automatically for me. It presses E, waits 12 seconds and presses E again. And basically that's all you need to do and you can get one up to 100 forestry super easy, super quickly. Logging, if you want to get to 100 logging, exact same thing as before, except you right click and set it to get bark, and then you get bark from the trees. Pretty easy, couldn't be easier at all, don't need to run around cutting down trees, just take the bark off them, get your forestry up. Carpentry, what you want to do is you want to start cutting down your trees, so you find your, uh, you'll obviously have to start with your softwood trees, cut them down and then saw them into billets. You will need a lot of billets for uh, getting up your other skills like your uh, smeltery skills etc because you need to set fire to them. Um, you may want to, 
if you're heading down the builder path, then you may want to saw them into builders, logs and planks, because you'll be training that up at the same time. One thing that I can recommend is you do not want to train up these things like for no reason just so that you can have them maxed. You want to kind of train these in conjunction with each other because when you're building buildings you'll obviously be cutting down trees and making logs. So obviously things like the actual cutting of the trees, so getting yourself logging, like feel free to spam that, but things like carpentry, you'll get that doing whatever you're doing. Uh, the same when it comes to terraforming, like you don't want to be spamming out per terraforming because like I've showed you, you'll need to dig holes to get to your ores or you'll need to flatten out an area for a build. So spamming out terraforming is just pretty much a waste of your time. Um, the next one is bowcraft. For bowcraft you want to make arrows or bolts because that is once again most bang for your buck, the cheapest way to do it to raise your skill. Siege, uh, warfare engineering always says siegecraft isn't in the game. Uh, nature's law, what you want to do is you want to do the exact same thing as with the trees, except you want to face down and you want to... Oh, where is it? Nature's law, gather plant fibres. You're going to need lots of plant fibres. So just gather plant fibres and just spam that. Once again, my program does that for me. Um, then you've got gathering. Um, gathering is yet another one. What you want to do is you want to... That's not a tree. That's a furnace. What you want to do is you want to come over to a tree and then you look at the bottom of the tree onto the tile that the actual tree is sitting on and you go to gathering and gather berries or gather mushrooms and that's how you level up the, your gathering skills super quickly plus you end up with a load of food as you can see down here I did have, I think I had like 200 food by the time I got gathering up to 60 um, then you've got herbalism, unfortunately herbalism you need to do the old fashioned way you have to gather herbs and make them into preparations, that's the only way you can do it. Healing, what you can do there is you can attack someone, then heal them, then attack someone, then heal them, then attack someone, then heal them. As long as you don't kill them, you won't get to negative 50 uh, criminality, and then you can get that back up by training up your piety. Um, alchemy is once again the exact same as herbalism, you kind of need to just do it old fashioned, make your potions. After training herbalism up you should have enough uh, preparations to make your potions, no problem. Terraforming already kind of went over, just uh, as you're getting other things, like as you're digging holes or flattening area for a build, you'll get terraforming up. There's no real need to spam anything out of terraforming. What you can do is you can raise, uh, raise land, lower land, raise land, lower land in order to get up to 30, then you can start flattening. Then after you're at flattening you can dig tunnels and then you should never ever need to get 90 or 100 because they're not implemented yet. But you can just dig, as you dig your tunnels you'll easily get 90 and 100 terraforming. Construction materials preparation, uh, the way that I got mine up and the best way that I've seen so far is to dig out some rock which you'll no doubt get while you're digging down trying to find some ores to get your mining skill up. Dig out some rock, right click your pickaxe, go to craft, or go to shape rock, I don't have my pickaxe on me. Uh, oh, there it is. Go to shape and shape rock and just craft and it'll auto shape all your rock into shaped rock which you will then use for buildings and obviously getting your construction materials prep up. Construction, masonry and architecture, pain in the ass, really grindy, the only way you can do it is start building something, place all your stuff into it except for one thing and build it and then once you've finished building it and put all the materials in it then you want to deconstruct it and that's basically how you get all the way like up to Architect 100 because you can do it with each of them with these ones castle walls, with these ones stone fences and with these ones you want to do uh, the picket fences over here that right? that's, that's definitely right paved roads, repair on movable objects as far as I recall you can make these uh, waddle fences as well yeah. Alright, so the next thing is farming. So to get your farming up, what you want to do is the exact same things we've done before. Make sure you've got a sickle equipped this time though. Right click, go down to farming and gather wild plants. That's what you want to do over and over and you'll get your farming up. Animal husbandry or animal lore rather. If you know how to get this up quicker, please tell me because this thing has been fucking me over for so long. I'm at 1.52 and I've been working on it for three days. 
Like, if there's any way to get animal lore up, I want to know. Um, procuration, cooking, and tailoring, I'm not going to give you my, um, my thoughts on those because I haven't got them up to max, so I wouldn't know. Procuration, I would expect just slaughtering the animals in your coops and things, or um, if you've got enough bones, just spamming out bone glue. It seems like the best way to do it. Um, weaving ropes and things should be a bit easier. Uh, food, uh, cooking, I'm guessing that you can do something with things that are easily gather gatherable, like uh, berries, mushrooms, apples, that type of thing. I'm sure there'll be a recipe for that. Tailoring, I'm guessing that you can make clo cloth gloves that are super cheap. Down to fishing and hunting. To get fishing and hunting up, you want to spam track peaceful animal. And if you're getting, if you're setting your snails so you can get your animal lore up, you'll also get that up super, super quick. Jewelry's not in the game, arts isn't in the game, and mentoring isn't in the game, but your piety, all you need to do with that is just keep spamming your home recall skill until you get your prey skill, and then every day just pray. Um, piety isn't something that's really well implemented just yet. So there's no real need to go much over 30, like the only reason to get to 30 is so that you can raise your alignment from being egg to 48, which you'll probably tanked through healing or through beating the crap out of people who come to invade your land. So with that, that's probably, that is probably going to do us for the, uh, the skill lesson. On the next page there's a load of combat skills and things, I have yet to even tackle these so once I do I'll give you my in-depth analysis on how to raise each of those skills. But if you've got any questions feel free to drop them in the comments section, if you enjoyed this episode, found it helpful then please drop a like, it helps me out a lot. As always guys I've been Steedra, you've been awesome and I'll see you next time, bye bye.